Hi, John here, Tiger Seal, uh, service manager for Tiger Seal. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the five, Better Pack 555 ES water activated tape, tape dispenser and the problem associated with short tape lengths. By short tape lengths, what I mean is you press 12 inches, and instead of 12 inches, you might get 9 inches or 10 inches, but they're always short, never too long, always too short. And operators will say, hey, my machine isn't working right, my tape lengths aren't right. Ask your operator when, you, when they say that, do they mean their tape lengths are too long? Are the tape lengths too short? If they're too short, you have an upper feed wheel issue. You might have a worn upper feed wheel. This is a wheel that we replaced last week on a machine that came in. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a groove in this feed wheel here and a lip right here on this edge. This is an example of a bad feed wheel. If your feed wheel looks like this, you kind of have to replace it. But what if your feed wheel doesn't look like this? What if it looks like this feed wheel? This feed wheel is good. Yet, when you press 12, or 18, 21, whatever, you get short tape lengths, particularly on a new roll of tape where there's a lot of drag. Maybe by the middle of the roll, you start to get 12 when you press 12. Well, there's an easy way to adjust the lower feed wheel, and all you need is a 332nd long-handled or T-handled Allen wrench. What you can do is you can adjust the lower feed wheel up slightly to get better grip against the upper feed wheel. And to adjust the lower feed wheel, you have to do it from the back of the machine. You take the tape out of the machine and you'll see a cutout in the back wall back here. You see that cutout right there? What you do is you take your Allen wrench and you kind of fish around and you'll, you'll hit the head of a set screw. It's a 332 second set screw. And once you hit the head of that set screw, you want to turn your Allen wrench one to two full turns clockwise. And what you're doing is raising the lower feed wheel. But remember, you can raise the lower feed wheel only so much, because if you raise it too high, you're going to get constant tape jamming. If you have to turn your Allen wrench more than two full turns clockwise, and you're still getting short tape lengths, then the problem is going to be a worn upper feed wheel or an internal problem, which we'll discuss in another video, with the lower feed wheel or the cutter yoke assembly. But this is a simple, quick fix, and it fixes 90% of the problems of short tape lengths. But let's say your upper feed wheel is worn. There are two types of upper feed wheels used over the years on the Better Pack 555E models, the neoprene and the metal wheel. Now these metal wheels, chrome hardened and the standard metal wheels are no longer made by Better Packages. They're making an aluminum replacement wheel. If, you're, if your machine has a metal wheel and you want to replace it, it's a good time now to upgrade and we sell an upgraded upper feed wheel kit that allows you to upgrade the upper feed wheel. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about how to replace the upper feed wheel. Of course, the first thing you want to do is unplug your machine when you're doing any kind of service work on it. So we're going to unplug our machine, take the water bottle and water tank out. You will need to remove both the key drum and the motor cover. There's four, five screws on each cover. We've removed four of them already to save a little bit of time. So we have one left to remove here. There. Bear with me a second. So we're going to remove the motor cover. Again, there's normally five screws. And we have to remove the key drum cover as well. And again, we've removed four of them, and we're down to the last one. Now, when you open the key drum cover, never let it flop open. If you do, it'll you risk breaking this information cable right here. So I'm going to hold the cover with one hand and unplug my information cables. Now I can pretty much just let the cover sit on the machine. So here's our upper feed wheel shaft and upper feed wheel that we want to replace. On the sprocket, on the attached to the upper feed wheel shaft is a set screw right here, 332 second set screw, the same size as used on the set screw inside the machine. So you want to Break the tension on that set screw, because we're going to have to remove it. Then you want to pop, there's a C-clip right here, and you want to snap that C-clip off. Maybe just a second, I'm in a kind of an awkward position here, sorry. You want to remove that C-clip, and you want to slide the upper feed wheel slightly over, and remove this pin. 
And the last thing is you have to get the shaft out. And so what I use, I use a punch, a hammer and a punch. And what you want to do is on the upper feed wheel shaft right here where it's connected to the encoder disc, take your punch and just tap it. And this one seems a little bit difficult. There we go. Sometimes they get a little cranky. Don't we all? You remove the old feed wheel. Now, when we put the new feed wheel on, one of the things we like to do is the upper feed wheel shaft is held into position by just this little small clip right here on the encoder disc. And if that clip weakens, the shaft can start moving this way. So what we do when we have to replace an upper feed wheel in our shop is we like to put a collar on this side. And what we do is we take a little lithium grease and slide it over. So we put the we put the um, washer on first. Then we take one of these locking collars that are stainless steel, put a little lithium grease on this collar because it's going to rub against the metal. We put that on next. Then we take our new upper feed wheel and slide that on next. We take our new, uh, the old, I'm sorry, the old washer here, put that on. Then we take another locking collar. So in place of the C-clip, we use a locking collar on this side. It just won't pop off. Once we lock it down, it stays in position. So we kind of like the locking collars. And that locking collar on this side will keep the feed wheel shaft from shifting over. Okay. So then we take, which I've already lost, which is the, um, the pin. There's the pin. You want to put your pin in. And just slide this over. Under your Allen wrench. We're going to just tighten this down loosely for now. Just so the pin doesn't fall out. You want to put your um, encoder disc back on the end of your shaft here. And that just snaps in. And then you want to lock this collar down. And I leave this collar a little loose. I don't want it binding on the, on the uh, frame here. I just want to leave it a little loose. But it gives a little support. It gives a little support so that the whole shaft isn't being held just by this little plastic pin. So that's a good way to quickly replace the upper feed wheel. And don't forget to put your uh, chain back on. Your sprocket and chain and tighten that down. And the other thing on these locking collars that I do, just to make sure they don't come loose, is I'll give them a little extra turn and make sure they're really on there good so they don't come loose. Oops. Okay, so that's it to the upper feed wheel and that's it to the short tape lengths. The only other thing is, like I said, if you turn more than two times, and if your upper feed wheel looks good and you have to adjust the lower feed wheel more than two turns, there might be an issue inside the machine, and we'll take a look at that in our next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, 800-899-9389. For all the parts we're talking about here, you can visit our website, which is tigerseal.com or tigersealproducts.com. Uh, thank you for watching.